All right, we're to almost the end of IB on uh, Monday, the 11th of March, 2019. E for e wizard at com. Finding traders to use risk capital you can afford to lose. All right, we've had a steamroller during the <coughs> IB. I said I doubt that we will get into the 70s during IB. I'm totally wrong. This market just has continued to squeeze traders. We said we were going to take a look at this chart would be our most important frame of reference because obviously until we take out that 81.75, that's our resistance. And obviously the 26 and a half low is support. So range trade, this whole range was what we had established in our mind. You'll, you'll note how uh, on this trade, we've come up to the very deepest levels here and taking out and squeezing all, all these traders. Uh, this was a fast down move. This was the controlling high back here in that 63 area. And at this point, you, you can see how the, the goal here was to knock out these traders who had position. And sometimes uh, I attribute this to rollover. And that's what I meant in the room earlier, that they, the boys want to fill their positions at better edges. And the middle is not a good edge for them in this swing. So uh, at, at this low the other day, a 100-point swing off of there, uh, obviously a you know, a better edge down here for the buy than to sell. And likewise, for any re-entry shorts, a big boy short, they're going to start to think of this area back here as a better edge than they are in the middle. So that's my thinking currently right now where – we know they can go today, they can go to any high, but this is a zone you really want to start to pay attention to as perhaps some interest by the big boys in stepping in and saying, you know, don't you think you've gone far enough? And and I look at, and I've said this before, uh, it, it's almost like a gentleman's agreement between the boys. All right, you fill your positions here, you know, we'll fill ours back here, and then let's get back to fighting. And it's almost like uh, they kind of give up uh, that territory. They say, ah, come on. All right, I got mine. Go get yours. Let's have some fun. Let's let's squeeze Charlie in between. Five-minute chart, alligator pattern, green, red, blue. Probably got maybe one more buy today. Keeping an eye on the red line as it moves up. And because we had to break out, we'd said that 52s were support. So at this point, let's move that up. We know this 56.75 was the high. So let's call it 58. And why, in, in, why would anybody want to give back all of this and say, I wanted two more points? So let's say ag aggressive support right now, 62. So basically we moved it up a dime off of that 52 where we started. And for that matter, <laughs> the 42s and that 37 and a half that I called last night as support. And remember the law of proportion. Under down, we can go 40, 50, 60 back easy. And we're going to move this up. And, and don't forget, one of the things we're trying to identify, right, these are 10-minute bars. Every one of these is white. There's not one single bar that tells me there's been any interest in selling on a 10-minute basis because all these are white, no black bars. No interest back here in buying, all black bars. So, so learn to identify that, at least keep yourself out of trouble. If you don't wanna buy, buy high and sell higher. 
I, I get it because you're not a bot, but you really do want to think about at, at least not fading, you know, this mirror move. And this is the top, this is our resistance here based on the, the normal setup. And then the extremes up here. There's a gap, I believe, at 76 and a quarter. So everybody wants to think that way. Think of that as our resistance target. And that would be 50 points off of the low. Seek, thank you very much. Let's put this on a 15. <clears throat> Show you what I was thinking. Here's the mirror move right here. One, one of the things that I try to look at is can I see anything that makes sense? <laughs> and you have to step back a few days to see it. Can't just look at a five minute chart or whatever. But I was thinking that this platform right here was like an inverted head and shoulders. And this is your head down in here and then your shoulder and your shoulder. And then obviously here, the top here is our resistance high, which the boys would also love to take out. But I don't, I don't think that's today's target. Could be, but I didn't think so. You just never know in a squeeze. <clears throat> and our gap is up here in this zone. So it makes sense to me that we certainly get a push, <clears throat> but a straight up push. A mirror move. Uh, I wasn't expecting this this early today, truthfully. And that's why you protect yourself. You know, you, you look at charts and you say, okay, you know, fine. <laughs> the, the green line hasn't broken yet. You still got to break the red and the blues. So, so my guess is that there'll be pullbacks today that will get bought. And you know, <clears throat> problem with most traders, you didn't like buying at 52s. You didn't like buying at 55s. You didn't like buying at 58. And you sure as heck don't like buying now at 68. But some traders do. Now some traders say, okay, this is a great spot. Well, we, we know we're going up. <laughs> so at, at some point, you're better off making the commitment for directionality Say, okay, I think we're going up. So might as well get on board. There's your 10 minute chart. We looked at this and we said, let's go to the 15. We got above this, got above this, and we've been riding this 10 ahead of ourselves. And this was where the boys wanted to get above and squeeze. Take, take out all these traders who thought they had a good one. And they did. Just have squandered it if they, <clears throat> you know, a monthly and have held on to it. Very clear. When you scale, take a look at a couple of charts. You want to see one support and one resistance. So, in our normal is 15. That's our 10, here's our 15. You can see we've still been holding the blue line, All right? Then you wanna to go to like a 30. We've taken out the rain line here. We've been supportive, still above the blue line, red line, green line, but ahead of ourselves. <clears throat> and then go to a 60. You wanna look at them all. Oh, <laughs> oh, I get it. 
Look at look at these cells, cells. And jam, and we get up above this 52 to 53 area, and then lights out. So every one of these charts are important, and they'll help to show the pace. And, and just by looking at this, you can tell on a 60-minute basis, we're ahead of ourselves. And we can also see where the next potential resistance is, may be coming in. There's a breakdown right here. Third time through, right? One, two, three. Boys put on a, a great game on the end of the day Friday and then the squeeze this morning. That's a 50 point turnaround from, from Friday. Almost. And our five-minute chart, rising wedge, take out the top, and then bang. Then now there's not a lot of support build up, so in any kind of news, we can come back through this. Not expecting to do that. You know, but you could get some news that uh, that would throw it backwards, but... For, for now, we have to think about this 62 areas as a key support. You know, about five points above that prior high. Anybody that's had a good run this morning, congrats. Said I thought we'd get a squeeze. We got a little bit harder squeeze than I thought, but still we got the direction right that we were bouncing <clears throat> day two. So a day like this, if you've done nothing, you know, go get another cup of coffee. Say, all right, fine. <clears throat> you know, missed a good opportunity there, but at least I didn't, you know, get clobbered. If you tried shorting, say, 62 to 65, you thought you had a winner and you got stopped out, just relax. Take your stop and hard to buy here right now and obviously still no evidence of a big boy wanting to short taking profits so lunchtime will probably be a better time for shorts i said earlier i don't think the high is in just felt like they wanted to squeeze early but <clears throat> big boys decide that the best best trade is just pile in and in Get that 50-pointer. Anybody that played 52s? I had to try to test a 56, 57 and had trailers. This is the gravy part. All right, anybody that gets near the 72s, good fortune indeed. And above that, it's lights out. There is a gap at 76 and a quarter. Basis is contract. We got about 30 pointer off the low. And if you've had a good run, make sure you get paid. mirror trade I hope some of you got this I hope none of you tried to fight it I hope if you tried to short you took your stop out and said okay I'm wrong there's nothing to be gained by fighting the market absolutely nothing we don't care whether it's going long or short as long as it's moving and if direction is going and we get to break out, then we already know where the targets are. Back end today, we could get to the 78s. I told you I'm doubting that, but that's not ruled out either. For now, anybody's got, uh, let's see, 
Anybody that's got to the 72s, my goodness, you ought to be happy with that. And if not, I don't know what I can do to convince you that at some point you got to at least move your stops up and, and, you know, give back five to make two more. All of the targets that I thought would come together this morning have been hit already. Did not think would hit into the 70s, but I'm conservative. <laughs> 